The starter is a goji salad made of green leaves, slices of mango and edible flowers. I wanted to make you think of a spring field where lots of colorful flowers grow freely. Does it look like it? Okay, we have a cat. My cat. He's a boy. His name is Coffee, of course. <laughs> Coffee. We want... how, how convenient is that? <laughs> to complement the food and let's get back into the past again okay so if for the first project uh, I wanted to be all neutral for this one I have maps because I think the dish will be neutral and I want to stand out with um, my decorations. I have two projects for this. The first one, it is a surprise and I won't tell you um, right away. Uh, I promise you can do it, um, but I will show you when I will arrange the table. How about that? But now, stay here, don't leave, because I will show you uh, what I will do with these maps. We will have um, a travel theme for this uh, dish. Sandra and I, we both love travel and I think this is really really nice and especially that she is a salty map on Instagram. What I want to do is make some boxes for favors. I think it's a really nice surprise to welcome your guests. With that being said, I will show you how we do the stencil and then we will actually use the maps in order to make the stencil for the boxes. I will have to draw them. So, I will uh, make a square of seven centimeters. Since I don't have any other tools, I'm trying to draw this square as accurate as possible with only two liners. So I hope uh, you can see now the square and now this will be the bottom of the box. So I want to do like a four centimeter height and I will measure like this four. draw long lines because you will need this little square also at the end. So now you have the bottom and the walls if you want. Now I want to do uh, the closing so I will use a compass because I actually want to make it round no matter how wide you are going to make the bottom the half of the circle will always be half of the first square so the first square 
is seven centimeters. So the arch will be 3.5. So, and I'm going to draw it from the bigger square. I hope you understand, but I will draw in a minute and I will show you. of the circle actually half of the circle okay so this is the bottom this will be the walls if you want and this will be the closing I want to be the exterior and I can use this as, a, as the interior. Now I'm starting to fold this half of a circle like this and then the next one and then the next one and the next one. Now from here to here this portion will be also folded because this is the height of my box okay I have this here this is a glue tape okay so I take this corner and I put it inside. After folding this is really really easy so I just do this press it so I want to glue between these and to glue it inside I will put glue on the inside This is my box. You can close it like this and let's see. Up, up and Now, don't jump into conclusions. All you can see on the plates was carefully planned. It might be similar to a crime scene where carrots seem to be taken out of the garden, but now, to be honest, it's not a crime scene. <laughs> I used some tricks. In my kitchen, you can still see the proofs of the splashing. In the plates, you can find some papyrus, some black quinoa, um, whole roasted carrot and chives oil. And on the less vegetarian side, there's a lamb chop and the parmesan whipped cream. And they complete the whole picture.